No, right behind you. Okay. Now, where's, oh, this line's on listening and then the things? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we're. Think we're good? Yeah. It's not live, live. It is now. Oh, you can hear me? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so let me see. Let me see layout. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. And when we do it, it's going to be clear. Yeah. She has this. Hmm? Okay. She has so she's this. good. Give me one second. Trying to. Good evening, P Tank family. This is Giovanni Perez, principal at Pasco Tank County High School. And I'm a little bit nervous, but very excited that you decided to join us on today. Um, first, before I get started, I just want to thank a few folks. Uh, both my APs, Juan Castillo. Show your own face. We'll try. <laughs> and my other AP who's controlling the technology um, from the other end, Le uh, Leah Lane. Thank you so much to the both of them. I'm a little messy sometimes, but they make me look good all the time, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, again, welcome to our meet and greet. I'm going to go and visit some more folks in just a second, but first I want to make sure that you have all the information that you're going to need for later on. And so parents and students, please make sure that you have your first semester schedule. So students, the most correct information is going to be through PowerSchool. So if you don't have that handy, I need you to go ahead and do that now while your parents are walking and listening through this first part. So write down your schedule or have your schedule with you. Again, the schedule that we sent in the mail was a draft schedule. We sent that, I think we printed it Thursday of last week and things could have changed. So look up PowerSchool, make sure you're looking at the first semester schedule and write down your first block teacher, your second block teacher, your third bell teacher and your fourth bell teacher. So again, make sure you do that right now because you're going to need that later on.
Ms. Lang, if you can go to the next slide. All right, so we, this is a very exciting year for us. We actually have our 20th anniversary for our first graduating class. So technically, we've been open for 21 years, but the class of 2021 will be our 20th graduating class. So first, I want to say big ups to the class of 2021. We are so proud of you. We can't wait to see how you're going to persevere through this year, no matter what it might hold. And we definitely can't wait to celebrate with you as you move on and graduate at the end of the year. So everybody take some time and give it up for the class of 2021. Yay, that's my you know, jazz hands. I don't know. Congratulations, guys. Can't wait to see you. Let's go ahead and talk about senior pictures. They are scheduled for August 27th and August 28th. Um, I've received lots of emails and calls about senior pictures. Uh, we have a company, Strawbridge, that does our pictures and they are not providing the drapes or the faux tuxedos. Um, it is in their company policy not to do that because that would be shared. Um, and also their employees would have to get pretty close to the students to um, adjust things. And so I realized that it is really important to try to keep as many traditional elements to um, senior portraits, to graduation as possible. And so I'm committed to put our heads together and figure out what we can do so that if you want that traditional picture, that you can have and keep that traditional picture. Also, if you're able to um, wear what you want to wear, I want to be able to give that flexibility. And so next week I will schedule a meeting to kind of hash that out to talk through it because I want what's best for our babies, bottom line. And I'm willing to compromise, but I need your help. Ms. Crutch, uh, a parent asks, if a student does not have access, a new student to power school, what can they do? Okay, ask them to email Ms. Townsend and ask Ms. Townsend for their schedule, and we'll see if she can get it to you in the next five minutes or so. Okay, good. Oh, I said tell, but I just told you. <laughs> so do that. Or if you email one of us, when we finish with this recording, we'll go ahead and send it to you. But Ms. Townsend's going to work on that. So her first, the first initial is P and then Townsend, T-O-W-N-S-E-N-D. All right. So I guess that's my cue to introduce some more folks. So let's go to the main office where the real boss is. All right, P Tank family, this is our front line. I call her my ride or die girl, a chick, uh, Miss Patricia Townsend. Hello, I'm Miss Townsend. Welcome to the main office. I am one of the voices that you hear when you call the school. Um, and always remember to wash your hands, Stay safe, wear your mask and social distance, take care and be safe. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you, Ms. Townsend. All right, we're gonna go through here, which we can never do. This is a no-no. I only get to do it because <laughs> I'm the boss sometimes. All right, next I'd like to introduce Caitlin Stevenson. She is our nurse. We share her with Northeastern High School. Hi, um, I am Caitlin Stevenson and I'm your nurse here. We are busy prepping for a safe and healthy school year. Um, new for this year, we will be adding an isolation clinic to the school, um, as well as a huge reminder for all of our 12th graders, um, we have to have a second Menactra vaccine. Um, as of today, we still have 104 seniors that have not received this vaccine. So please get with me if you have any questions. Um, we have plenty of new thermometers, masks, so we are prepping to um, have a good, healthy, safe year once you get back to school. Thank you, Ms. Stevenson. All right, so we're going to walk toward the guidance office. Uh, my counselors aren't here. Ms. Lane, if you could go to the next two slides. And so first up would be Ms. Uh, Letitia Moore. She is our guidance counselor for students with the last names A through K. And then the next slide will be Ms. Pereza, Charlotte Pereza. She's our guidance counselor for students with the last names L through Z. So they have worked hard all summer to make sure and try to make sure that all the schedules were correct 
and that they have things lined up. So I really appreciate the two of them because every time I come to them and give them extra work, they say, Ms. Crutch, no problem, we'll take care of it. So again, thank you to the two of them. Um, just a reminder, I know you have your schedule and you're able to look in power school, but the old, we're not honoring any class changes until the very first day of school. First day of school, we'll send out the form and that's where you will be able to request a class change. Now, if it's something like um, you pass the class and we put you in that class again, then you don't have to wait until the first day of school. Immediately uh, reach out to us and let us know. If you took credit recovery over the summer and you're complete, you've completed it, but you look at your schedule and it's still up there, again, reach out to us. If you don't have a prerequisite, for example, if you're in firefighting two and you never took firefighting one, you do not have to wait until the first day of school. Contact us so that we can go ahead and take care of that and fix that. Ms. Crutch, I do have a question here from a parent. Okay. It says, do we just email a copy of the shot record? Probably it's more for nurse okay. Kelly. Um, that's a good question. I am not sure. Um, I think that's a good start. And then if she needs something different, then we'll reach out and she'll let you know. Thank you for the questions. All right, Miss Lane, if you'll go to the next slide. I believe it says the first day of school, which is on August 17th, 2020. And we'll get to the schedule in just a second. So it is really important that all students show up for that first day of school. And so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the differences in just a second, but normally on the first day of school, we have a school-wide pet rally. Of course, we're not gonna be in school. And again, just in case somebody has missed it, the first nine weeks, we're gonna be in remote learning. So everybody in this first nine weeks is gonna be in remote learning. That's from kindergarten all the way to 12th grade. So that means we are learning from home. But again, we've made lots of changes to, to make sure that we are more successful. So again, first day of school, we normally have a pet rally, That we're not gonna change that. We are gonna have a pet rally. Mr. Castillo is gonna put on cheerleading uniform and I'm gonna make <laughs> him do everything, the cheerleading, the band, everything. I'm just joking. Um, but we will have a virtual pet rally. Um, and that's why I'll give some more information to students and then we'll get um, started on that first day of school, August 17th. And Ms. Crutch, we have another question here. Okay. How do we contact to set up a student portal if I'm unable to authenticate my child? You have to give us a call so we can give you some more help or support. Because it sounds like you're talking about a parent portal and maybe something not connecting or reading. So call us or email me and I'll make sure I get you to the right person. And one more question. This is actually pretty important. Okay. On Power School, how do we know what classes are first and second semester? Okay. And so there should be an S1 on the right left hand side. And then sometimes in that top corner, it will either say semester one or semester two or sometimes it'll say the whole entire year. It'll say 2020, 2021. So if you can change the set on the right hand side, then change it to semester one. But if you can't, you wanna look for the letters S1 because that means semester one. Excellent, excellent. So we'll keep going. All right, so let's go to what I call the, uh, the Panther Cat. It reminds me of the Thundercat set. So we'll stay here for a little while. And so the next part I want to talk about is the community Panther Pride. Um, most of the time I complete this on Sunday and I send it not only to students, but I also put it on Facebook and send it to the community. Um, this year we're going to have an email. Um, so we're going to send it to like the ninth grade emails, 10th grade emails, all the parent emails that we can. And so I want you to make sure you take a look at that each week because it has information that is important to both students and for parents. And so hopefully you can see the community Panther Pride right now. And I wanted to point out a really important date. Of course, you see on Wednesday, we're in that virtual um, meet and greet right now. But another important date is coming this Friday. So Friday, August 14th, that's the day that we will have Chromebook pickups. So if your student did not get a Chromebook back in the spring, it is really important that you need to come and get one on Friday. So that's gonna be in the front loop of the school. 
Um, I'm going to send a reminder message on Thursday afternoon for everybody who doesn't have one signed out. But again, on Friday, August 14th, Chromebook pickup from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. So if the student can come and get it, the parent can come and get it, it doesn't matter. But it's really important that you come and get it on that day. Um, if you can't make it on that day, give us a call, send us an email so we can kind of set it to the side for you. But again, the first day of school is August 17th. Really important that we get started. Second page of the Panther Pride, I try to um, uh, I try to give advance notice of things coming up. Most of the time, it's about two or three weeks out. And so I just wanted to point that out to you. So that second page, I'm trying to give you information that will be coming along soon. And Ms. Crutch, really quickly, there, there's a few other questions, but this one is actually from one of our students. How do we know if our online or hybrid in COA classes? And I know some of our counselors are watching. Maybe they can help us answer. I believe COA announced that they're doing um, online classes. So I think the, um, the instructor will email you. And they probably will email you from your COA email account. But I believe that COA predominantly is online. Those classes are online. But um, give us a call, and I'll check with Ms. Luton. I'll check with Ms. Moore and Ms. Carrezzo to make sure I'm giving you correct information. And one really quick comment, mm -hmm. Ms. Trinika White says she misses you. <laughs> I miss you too, baby. I <laughs> hope you're doing well. All right, let's talk about Parent Portal and Power School. And so I don't know where I'm walking to. I guess we're just going to walk. Mm -hmm. um, it's really important that you have access to the Parent Portal um, because it's going to be where you're going to be able to see all of your students' grades. Um, you're going to be able to see if they've been marked absent or present. Um, and actually, ECPPS has a way that you can connect to your parent portal without having to come into the school. And so we will share this presentation with you at the very end. And you'll see a link that says ECPPS Parent Portal Request Form. And so you fill that Google document out. You upload a copy of your driver's license. And then you can gain access to Parent Portal for all of your children. Uh, quick question. This is another good one. Okay. Do we keep the Chromebooks from middle school for incoming freshmen? Yes, you do. Um, so, yeah, they at, from eighth grade, they keep that. You don't have to come back and get another Chromebook. You keep it. It's registered to you. I forgot to say one thing, so I'm glad you asked that question. Also, anybody who already has a Chromebook, but maybe there's something wrong with it, uh, maybe you don't have a power cord or maybe something isn't working on friday august 14th that's also the time that you need to come and try to switch that out okay so it's not just for people who did not receive a chromebook or did not come and get a chromebook it's also for folks that the chromebook is not working properly or correctly all right okay. we're gonna go upstairs all right i don't know how i'm gonna go upstairs backwards let me, let me get <laughs> it's gonna be a disaster all right so i think the next um slide is the pchs then and now for remote learning um, as i get into the particulars of remote learning i want you to know that there's going to be a difference between how remote learning went down in march or after march 13th and how it's going to go down this particular year and so there's a lots of differences on this slide um, but one of the main things is we had about 48 hours notice from the time school closed until the time that we were going to start the remote learning. And so that's a very short period of time to try to do things very differently than what we were used to doing. And so now um, the district has worked all summer to make sure that we had things in place that, we, that where we're going to be able to make sure that our students are successful. And so just talks about the difference here. I'm not gonna go through all those because the truth is, as I go along, I'm gonna address most of those things. Uh, quick question as we walk. A uh, student, I forgot my password for, to get into power school. How do I, sorry. Okay, I think your password to get into power school is the same password you would get it used for getting into the computer. So email Miss Driver mm -hmm. and Miss Ramsdale and one of them should be able to help you. Mm -hmm. All right, 
So Ms. Lane, hopefully we're on the next slide, which is, which is the schedule. And this part is really important. And so if you take a look at the schedule, the district um, developed this over the summer. And the schedule for Monday through Thursday is a little different than the schedule for Friday. As a matter of fact, if you have a, an elementary school student and a middle school student, all of those are two, three different schedules for each one. So I'm just gonna talk about the high school schedule. Teachers, all ECPPS teachers are required to do live teaching every day, okay? And it should be based on the schedule that is given. And so for Monday through Thursday, your children at Pasco Tank County High School, they're gonna have live teaching each bell. And so the schedule doesn't exactly look like, it doesn't start at 8.30, it's a little bit different. So what you'll see is first bell starts at nine o'clock and goes until 10.20. And so I think the schedule that we have is the one we actually have for teachers. So we'll make sure we switch that out and, and give you the real one in the presentation. But all the rest of the parts are the same. So from nine o'clock to 10.20, that is first bell. From 10.30 until 11.50, that's second bell. There's about an hour for lunch between 12 and one. And then third bell begins at one o'clock and goes until 2.20. And then fourth bell begins at 2.30 and goes until 3.50. So that's about 80 minute block. The teachers are gonna teach for about half of that, about 40 minutes. Every now and then they might be a little less, every now and then it might be a little more. And so they're gonna model the same things they would do in the classroom during this 40 minute time. Okay, so you're gonna have warm ups, you're gonna have um, discussions, you're gonna have lecture, you're gonna have demonstrations, you're gonna have possibly group time, and that's what they're gonna do every day, Monday through Thursday. That second half is gonna be used to support students that still need support, okay? It could be that, all right, they did a quick assessment and about half the class are getting it. Well, if half the class the half of the class that get it, they can go on to do that assignment offline. We call it synchronous and asynchronous learning. So synchronous means when you're live with the teacher and you're interacting. But asynchronous is when you're doing assignments but you're not live with the teacher. Now the teacher will be on the entire time for that 80 minute block. And so let's say you decide that, well, I think I got it. And then you go off and then you start working and you're like, ah, I have a question. It's no problem, they're gonna still be there. You just log, hop back on and ask your questions, okay? And so that's where we're gonna do our small groups. That's when we're gonna differentiate. And so that's every day, Monday through Thursday. On Friday, so hopefully the Friday schedule is up. On Friday from nine until 12, um, that's when we are remediated. We're having some club time. If you missed a quiz or a test, uh, that's the time that you're going to do that because let me back up. Quizzes and tests and assessment, they're going to be proctored. That means the teacher is going to require that your um, camera is on. They're going to give you a time limit about for how much time it will take you to finish it, and they have to see you actually doing it. If you don't make it to that session, then you have to do a makeup on Friday during that scheduled time. So I believe the times go from 9 to 9.30, 9.30 to 10, 10 to 10.30, 10.30 to 11. And then the next two time blocks, we want to get that club time in. So some DECA, some SGA, some FFA. We want to try to provide that normal experience as much as we possibly can. And so if um, there are two clubs that have people that are in both clubs, we're going to make sure we try to alternate it because, again, we're trying to do the things that we would normally, regularly do in school. Uh, if you mind, a couple questions sure. that we had. Sure. Uh, what's going on with driver's ed? Okay, so driver's ed, um, they are planning to have a driver's ed class because I know right before we stopped the remote instruction, um, there was supposed to be a new class starting. And so they're gonna do it virtually and it's going to begin, and this is the part that I don't have a lot of information, it's either going to begin in September or October. I don't have exclusive dates just yet, but it's going to begin either September or October. 
And of course, anybody who already paid for that class, you're automatically gonna get first uh, pick for the, the class that's coming up. Driving, I don't think they figured out what they're gonna do with the driving yet. But when it does resume, again, anybody who has already taken the class, you're gonna be first up to, be, to complete the driving portion. All right, and then a question here about schedules. Uh, what if a student's schedule, the teacher, it says vacant, how will they know where to go okay. for the teacher name? If you can tell me the subject, I can tell you where to go and if that teacher is actually on board yet. Actually, I am fully staffed, almost. Um, I think I'm missing one science teacher, but if you tell me what the course is, I'll be able to tell you where to go. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody says, what if we're taking featherweights or weight training? I guess they're wondering how is that going to be done online? Oh. Mr. Doc, Mr. Spencer has a plan for you, no doubt about that. So you're going to be lifting some, some weights and it's not going to be feathers, I'm sure. So he will have a plan, a workout plan. And actually, when you go to um, the class at some point today, he'll talk more about how he's going to carry that out remotely. Okay. Excellent. And one really quick one as we walk, where can I fill out a form to get a laptop for a new student? You just can come on Friday. As long as we have everything that we need, you just can show up on Friday and we'll make sure we issue you one. Yeah. You. All right, so let's talk about attendance. And so actually I had some, I don't think he's had it from him, but either way. So we have a new employee, Wesley Young. He's joining our social studies department and we're very happy to have him. Excited to be here. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Young, appreciate it. All right, let's talk about attendance. Um, attendance will be taken every day. And you need to make sure that you're in those live sessions every day, because if you're not there, you will be marked absent. Um, there's also another way that we can take attendance, and I'm going to tell you about it because it's the truth, but I need you to be very careful. Okay, let's say you're not able to make it to that live session. The only other way that you'll be marked present for that day is if you do the work for that day. All right. For the most part, assignments that teachers have, um, like today is August 12th on Wednesday. So if I had an assignment due today, August 12th, that means my kids have to get that assignment in by 11.59. Okay. If you don't get it in by 11.59, it is late. Okay. And so now keep in mind it's two different things because the other thing that we didn't have in the spring is there wasn't grades going into power school. But again, remember that then versus now. Grades are going into power school. As a matter of fact, teachers are going to update grades every week. So by Friday, you're going to have updated grades. And so make sure that you attend those live sessions. Now, even though you can be marked present, and even though you can do work without attending those live sessions, eventually it's going to catch up with you. And so that's not what you want to do. You want to make sure that you attend. Okay? And that parent, as far as the class, he says it's theater arts. So wondering who the teacher will be. Okay, so theater arts, she's brand new to us and her name is Lee Dix. And I think she has a link, does she have? Yep, she has a link. So that will be theater, our theater teacher. Mm -hmm. Lee Dix. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna see Dr. Davenport over there. I don't think he knew he was gonna be on TV, but Dr. Davenport is, one of our math department. Hello. And so we just want to say hello. Thank you, Dr. Davenport. Ms. Shepard. Hi. Hi, Ms. Coaching. We're going to come and see you. So this is Ms. Shepard. She's in our science department. And so we appreciate Ms. Shepard being here today. Thank you, Ms. Shepard. Welcome. <laughs> All right, so next let's talk about Canvas. And I'm a little bit over, but I think I can get through everything. And so Canvas is the LMS that, again, everybody in our district is required to use. And so from kindergarten until 12th grade. Some of our teachers have been using Canvas for two, three, four years. Some of them, they are brand new to it. But we're gonna get through it, we're gonna help each other because everything is gonna be housed in Canvas. And so as we start and next week when I send out the week, the Panther Pride for the week, 
we're going to have information about how you can sign up for Canvas, some videos about how to see what your student is doing. Um, and so again, Canvas is the LMS that we're using. All right. So Ms. Phillips, I think she was going to hide, but she, she stayed there. So this is Ms. Phillips, another um, great, wonderful teacher in our math department. So Ms. Phillips, you want to say hi? <laughs> Put you on the spot. Thank you, Ms. Phillips. All right, so next I want to talk a little bit about athletics. The uh, NCH, I'm, I think I'm making up some numbers. SAA. The NCH, SA? Two A's. Two A's? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, those sports folks from the state, they um, deliver some information today and they have pushed back the sports season yet again. I believe. Um, now the first practice for what we would consider fall sports will be november 4th and that's going to start with cross country and volleyball and so all the other sports kind of line up after that so just to give some general information they kind of pushed back all the sports and football has kind of shifted into a different spot and the seasons go a little bit longer this year i think they go until about june 11th if i'm remembering correctly and so each sports season is about seven weeks. Again, just came out today, so I don't have a lot of information about it. A uh, quick question. When will the forms be emailed next week? Or will, it form, will forms be emailed next week for a drop or add? First day of school, we're going to mail the form to the student. And then the student needs to get that form in by that third day. So the first day of school is the 17th. So they need to make sure they have that form and turn it in by the 19th. And let me just explain, just because you ask for a schedule change does not automatically mean that it's going to happen. First, we're going to take a look to see if you asked for that class. We have to take a look and see, um, is the class full? Is everything else locked up? And we will take a look at it. But just because you ask for a schedule change doesn't mean you'll actually get one. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Uh, there is. Uh, let me see here. Uh, will they have a chance to complete assignments after hours, but not being available during the day will limit the access to live instruction from the teacher? Yes. And so that's what I was saying. There's two different ways that you could um, be counted as present. Um, if you attend the live session or if you complete the work by the due date, for example, if there's an assignment that's due today, you didn't make it to the live session because you had a doctor's appointment then you get that work in by 1159 and you'll still be counted present. And of course your work will be graded. Um, but again, I don't want you or students to think that, oh, I'll just never go to the live sessions. I'll just do, um, you know, the work on the outside. You got to remember, you're going to miss a lot. It'll just be like missing class. And so you don't want to do that. And again, it's the best of both worlds because in the spring when we stopped, you didn't have that live session. You had it maybe once a week. We have a better plan, again, to make sure that you're successful. All right. And as we walk, real last quickly, as a really good one, my concern is getting my kid to sit in front of a computer for hours. And that's the thing. That's why we specifically told teachers that you should not be instructed for that whole 80 minutes. Okay. That 80 minutes, you're going to do take about that first half. And then, and that's what we call it again, that synchronous learning. But that second half can be asynchronous. And teachers also are going to make sure that they provide work where the student doesn't have to be on the computer. And so we, we keep all those things in mind. And so if you think about it, you start at 9 o'clock and you do that synchronous learning from 9 to 940, you might not, you won't have to go on again if you're getting a good grasp of things. You won't have to go on again until about 10, 15, 10, 20 when second bell starts. And so there's some breaks in between plus that hour lunch. So the next slide is the actual meet and greet um, flyer. And so I tried to email it to you guys. I emailed it to the students. I put it on the Facebook page. And so you already on the meet. That means you knew how to get to the link for the first part. But on the right hand side, that is the link for the teachers meet um, and greet. And so in just a few minutes, I'm going to tell you it's going to be time to go to first bell, to second bell, third bell, fourth bell. And so find the link for the teachers. So that section that says teachers meet and greet links in just a few minutes.
All right. The last thing I want to talk to you about, and I will come back at the end, just in case you have any questions, is the child nutrition schedule. And so on Monday, August 17th, um, the child nutrition or our cafeteria, they will be serving a hot lunch. I believe the time is from 11 until 2 o'clock. They also will have um, meals prepared for breakfast and lunch, enough for seven days. And so if you are able to or you need to come out and get a hot lunch plus seven days worth of breakfast and lunch. And I think they're going to do that every Monday throughout the month of August. And so when I get that flyer, I'll make sure I share it with kids and with you and I'll make sure I put it on Facebook. Okay. All right. Any more questions before we go to class? I know we missed some and we'll try to answer some of these, but this last one here is what if we can't do the meet and greet with the teachers right now? Not a problem. Um, just make sure that you are watching your email. Make sure you look at that Panther Pride that I'll send out on Sunday. That'll give that last minute information about how to get on. And remember, the first day of school is August 17th on Monday. It's really important that your students are logged in virtually because that's the other thing that first day of school they can't they're not going to be marked for attendance they're not going to be marked present unless the teeth they're in that live meet or there's some type of two-way communication okay they can't just sit, sit and do the work that's not going to work they have to show up and they, they should show up every day because again it's going to be difficult to keep that up if you think that you don't have to go to the live meet and you'll just do the work your grade is going to slide so no problem if you can't stay for that part um, the teachers will be in contact. Um, I think I skipped something. Power school. Pa uh, I think power school is the parent square. square. Um, be on the lookout for that because that's also a way that you'll be able to communicate with your teacher directly. And so go ahead and sign up for that. But then you have to make sure that your information links. And so if you put an email in the power square, parent square, excuse me, then we, we have to make sure that we have that on file or it won't let you kind of sink in but we'll work through all of those things. Thank you for coming. Um, understand that it's not gonna be perfect, but we're gonna do our very best to provide high quality education to your babies. Um, and once again, big shout out to the senior class of 2021. At this time, let's go to first bell. I think it was supposed to start at 5.30, so we're about five minutes late, and so we'll just shift by about five minutes. So by 5.40, go ahead and go into your first bell teacher class link, and you guys have a wonderful evening. I'll come back when it's all said and done and take any other questions, but have a good evening.